Quest for the Golden Duck. It's time for another edition of the eShop Trash Bin, where I take a look at the games that are selling for under a dollar to see if there's anything redeeming about it. Or maybe we're going to find a hidden gem. <laughs> okay, all right, let's not go crazy. Now, this is going to be a snap judgment review because I suck at video games and I suck at this game. Now, I found this for under 20 cents. But I'm still going to be hard on this game, even if it wasn't at the bottom of the trash bin of the eShop. Now this is pretty much Pac-Man, with the additional power-ups. Now that's not really a bad thing, since Pac-Man is a good yet simple game. Now this can be played with up to three other players. And you have to collect all the coins before moving on to the next level. There are power-ups to help stop the skeletons and dogs that will attack you. They have different patterns, like for example the dog will go in a straight line, but if it sees you it will follow you until it loses a visual on you. The skeletons, depending on the kind they are, take more random actions, so they're more annoying characters to avoid. There are power-ups that will make you invincible for a few seconds, and you can kill them and they respawn in a cage where they're trapped for a few seconds. Now there are power-ups that also make you invisible, but you can still be killed if touched, and ice power-ups will temporarily freeze the enemies. Like I mentioned, you can play this with three other players, and when I asked my kids if they wanted to play this with me, they just laughed at me and said no. I couldn't blame them. It really wasn't very fun. But that's really because this game should be played in multiplayer. It kind of feels like the kind of game that you get more excitement from doing it that way. Now they give you a timer to get all the coins in the level. If you do it, you get an extra life. You're going to need those lives because this game is really hard, especially alone. The unpredictability of the enemies could make it an inevitability to get killed in a level. Like I mentioned, I really couldn't get too far in this. And while I did get better over time, in the end it really did come down to luck to beat the levels. At least in the single player. There's also a multiplayer battle mode it looks like, but I couldn't really test it. The timer to get a few extra lives was unreasonably short, and I only hit it a few times. Quest for the Golden Duck was more of a turkey than a duck. It was way too simple and requires you to get really lucky on the enemy's movements, or have other friends who really want to play a very average game for some reason. Now this is currently 19 cents. Sure, for 19 cents, that's a completely fair price. Now for the recommended price of 9.99, it's not only worth skipping, it's almost insulting. This is clearly one of those games that have a price that is just so silly that's just to show it's a good deal when it goes on sale. I just don't see how anyone could justify that price for such a simple game. Sure, there are 100 levels to play, but if it's a boring game, even free isn't worth it. Now this isn't boring, but it sure is underwhelming. So if you want to spend the 20 cents on it for a lark just playing this thing, yeah, go for it. But for an actual fun game, I would just pass on it.